Hey everybody, uh, Stacy here. How are y'all doing? It's been a little while. It's been a few days, and I do uh, a painting video. I've been working really hard on these stained glass projects, and um, I just needed a break. And I was reading some comments, and I apologize, y'all. Uh, I didn't see those. Um, if you left some just recently, and I just now got back to you today. I didn't see them. I don't know why they didn't pop up, uh, except on my phone. Now, on the computer, they didn't. All I get on my computer seems like are these stupid notifications from all of the games that my son is playing. So, it's possible they got lost in there, but I don't think so, because I check it a lot. I love getting comments, and it's very important to me that whenever somebody leaves a message or a comment or something, that I get back to them you know, as soon as possible. So, it's a priority. And I apologize to those of you who left some recently and um, it seemed like I left you hanging. I didn't know that they were there. So, anyway, I found some today and I uh, responded to those. And um, thank you all so much. I love hearing from y'all. Please do it more often. It makes my day. And uh, so, tonight, I wanted to dedicate this piece to... One of the sweet ladies that stopped in and left me a message and said she's new to acrylic pouring. And Gwen Trahan, you know I'm talking about you. Um, that's her name, Gwen Trahan. I'll say it again. And um, she uh, left me the sweetest message and said that she would like to see a swipe like this ocean swipe I did some time ago. And she would like to see one with the colors gray, white, black, and a uh, deep purple so um that's what i'm gonna do um i don't know if i'm doing it exactly like you wanted Gwen, because there's some details that uh we didn't talk about <laughs> um i don't know what you wanted for this white color and um i really kind of wanted needed a little more well i decided to put two different grays in there like a silver kind of gray and then a pewter um so, a deep gray and a kind of light silvery color, just so I'd have some extra paint, really. Um, my cups, I didn't want to mix another cup full of one of the other colors, you know, so I was kind of torn, and I couldn't figure out what to do, and I just decided to do that. So, I hope that it, it's okay with you. And, um, so, I've got Arsloff White. Um, I'm going to swipe it with the purple, because that just makes sense to me. Um... I don't know, um, you know, um, which one, you know, if either you would prefer, but that, that's what I think I'm going to do because I think it'll make it really pop. So, this is some, um, let me think, um, this is, what is this? Liquitex, silver, um, with a little bit of black, just to make it a little deeper, it was, just a little, it, it was so light. You know, it doesn't look much different than the white. So, I added just a little bit. Um, and, um, I put my swap color on last because my table is so slanted, it's going to migrate. And I don't want to lose all my swap colors, so I put that on last. And I usually, these are mixed, by the way. Um, one part paint, one part glue. Mix, 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 real good. Um... About four parts, um, flow trial. Mix, mix, mix. And then a good amount of silicone. Only mix a little bit with the silicone. About three swipes. You know, not much at all. Because silicone denatures if you overmix it. It will not work. So, that is what, um, um, I, how I mix these colors. And I will also tell you, for those of you who have been keeping up with my sour flow trawl debacle. <laughs> yes, my flow trawl seems to have sort of soured. Um, I left, I, I think the cap got kind of a jar. And it stinks to high heaven. It smells like curdled milk. It is so disgusting. But I couldn't bring myself to throw it out because it's still making sales. You know, and I haven't seen anything that I can say is a bad, you know, uh, consequence of it. So, I couldn't throw out the whole thing. A flow trial, that shit's expensive. Um, 
So I've just been using it, and I don't know that there have been any untoward effects. So, uh, but this is the last batch of it. There's only a little bit of it left, and I just can't take that smell anymore. I just can't take it. It's disgusting. I don't want it to get on my hands, and I never care about stuff getting on my hands, and I never care about smells. You know, chemical or acidic or resin or paint, none of those smells bother me. In fact, usually I like them. Um, you know, I was the kid that wanted to sniff gas <laughs> because I like the way it smells. Not to get high, but um, because I like the way it smells. Uh, okay, so we got our silver, and then the, that's Master's Touch Black. And then um, I think I'll put the um, white on next. Artist Lost White. That's Deco. No, not Deco Art. I'm sorry. Liquitex Silver, I told you, with just a little bit of this black mixed in. Master's Touch Black. And this is uh, our sloth white. Um, yeah, I, I think I've, I've just gone as far as I can go with that Floetrol. It smells bad. And I don't care. You know, there's not a whole lot left in there anyway. Um, okay, this is uh, Deco Art Pewter. And to me, this color has almost a blue cast. Kind of like a Payne's Gray. Um... So, I hope that's okay with you, When um, I, um, it isn't so blue that it looks blue, you know, to me it looks just kind of like a little hint of blue, just a, just a little thought of blue, a little smidge. I'm going to pull that back down, because it might break. Okay, uh, now I always save a little bit of drizzles um, for a little black left in here. I'm going to have to like stretch the crap out of this because I don't have quite enough paint. Um, but that happens and it will be fine. You will see. Do not panic. This is going to be under control. Um, anyway, oh Lord, I've had such a stressful day today. Um, my husband's cancer is probably back, and we have spent the day in doctor's offices. And I am a nurse. I hate going to doctor's offices. It's going to be really interesting. I like the way that looks. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place tonight. I'm exhausted. I did not sleep at all. And um, this is kind of how I get when I get like that. Plus, I haven't been able to do any artwork in about a week. And that puts me into art withdrawal. And um, that's a whole bad state of affairs. Um, I thought I had COVID. I was so sick for about a week. I went and got tested. I don't know if I had it or not because I haven't gotten the results yet. But I went and got tested. I was so paranoid. I felt so bad. All right. This purple, I want to tell you. I was going to use dioxazine purple. And I can't find it for the life on me. I know it's here somewhere. But I cannot put my hands on it. This is Artisloth. Uh, and I would tell you the name of it. But... I can't remember the name of it, and I can no longer read it on the container. It's kind of smudged, or my eyesight's just that bad. I'm not sure. But I can't read it. But it is like a brilliant purple. Um, and uh, I know when you said a deep purple. And and originally, I was thinking dioxazine purple by Liquitex. And that's what I would have used should I have found it. But then, after I mixed this one up, I thought, well, that is really going to be pretty, I think. So, um, it'll be okay. Now, I'm swapping with my gold standard swipe material for regular swipes, which is parchment paper. It's my favorite thing to swap a regular swipe with. It's very thin. Um, it's very uh, delicate. Um, it does not work on thick materials like Shelly Art or resin. I have not found that to work. That's going to be really interesting looking. I like that. Um, oh, these canvases. 
I got this batch of canvases. Look at that, how the paint is not wanting to adhere. Um, this whole batch of canvases has done that. And I think they're defective because um, I have had that happen before. You know, it came in, they came in a set and everyone in the set has done that. It has not wanted to let paint adhere to it. And so what I have to do is just go ahead with my painting and then, you know, cover it a couple of times and it'll, you know, cooperate. But it's a real pain in the butt. It's very irritating. That's beautiful, I think. I think we're headed in a really neat direction when you had a good idea here. It's not, it's not something uh, I think I would have thought of. But I like it. I like it. Really, it's beautiful. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I like this parchment paper a lot for these kind of swamps. I love the cells it makes. I like, um, you know, these all these different, look at all these. They're always different, it seems like. And I really like the veininess that you get. I think that's really cool. Um, I start mine up here at the very top and get a whole bunch of that swipe color down in it. Um, you have to be careful at the very end of it that you continue to swipe at a parallel level to your canvas. It's easy for me with this edge here to want to lift up so I can rise above that edge and that will cause a problem. It, like this right here. That's the problem it causes. <laughs> um, I don't know if I did it there or if that's just a gap because I didn't have enough paint to cover it. We'll get it covered. It's okay, don't panic. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that when you're doing a swipe, it's really a good idea, according to me, because I only speak for me, nobody else. This is just what works for me. I'm no authority, I'm not an expert. This is just what works for me. For me, it works really, uh, the best if I can stay as parallel to my canvas as possible for the whole duration of the swapping uh, process. Um, if you lift up at the end, it's going to distort it. If you, uh, you know, whatever. If you do something other than staying parallel, let put it that way, um, you're going to have some sort of distorted kind of reactions, or at least that's been my experience. Let me put it that way. Okay. I really like this, Gwen. You're a smart lady. Maybe you're new, maybe you're not. I'm starting to think, I don't know. This is really good thinking. You know, kind of like a, an old soul artist, you know, kind of thinking. Um, I like it. Um, all right. Now, I, on my swipes, don't always do this the same way, uh, whether I move it up or back um, first. But I do always like to get my corners. I'm going to do this down right here. See, we actually had plenty of paint. Um, it was, you know, I mean, you don't have to put a swatch of color over your whole naked canvas to make a swipe work. You don't actually have to have that much paint because y'all saw what I just did. I didn't have that much paint. And um, I think this is beautiful. I think it's gonna be really pretty. Um, in fact, I'm gonna have to pour some paint off um, because I have, you know, I don't want too much on there. Um, that causes crazing. Those of you who don't know, if there are any of you who don't know what crazing is, most of us who've painted for any period of time have experienced it. I personally found it to be my nemesis for a while. I had lots of problems with it for a while. Um, crazing is when it dries and it cracks. Um, and usually it's because of a couple of things. Either you've left too much paint on the canvas, which is what I used to do. Because I loved it so much, I would look at the designs and they were all so beautiful, like I'm looking at this one right now. I didn't want to pour anything off. 
So I would just like leave a whole bunch of paint on there. And that will cause crazy. Um, another thing that causes it is mixing your paints too thick. Um, that can cause it. Um, I had a, my problem with it was not with regular uh, pours. It was with the Shelly Art uh, fluid. I mean, no, the Shelly Art medium. Uh, I don't have that problem anymore. I switched to Glidden semi gloss uh, paint premium um, paint, and no more problem with that. So, but that's a whole other story for another day. I'm really really liking this. I wish I could give it to Gwen because um, it was her idea. I feel like she should have some, have credit for it because I sure didn't think of this combination. Um, let me get a little more juice in here because I really like to give my paintings a real good scorching torch. You know, um, I believe in a lot of silicone and I believe in a real good torch. Um, I just did. I really like the way that black and and white is together, and I don't do a lot of black and white, and I hardly ever do anything negative space. Um, and I started thinking one time that maybe I needed to experiment with those things, black and whites and negative space, because um, I just never have that much. I love this. It looks like something good to eat. I don't know why. Oh, I just do. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I like the cells in this better than I like one of any one I've done in a good while. I think they're bulbous and big and and yet little and. Uh, dainty at the same time. I like them. Y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but I'll tell you what it reminds me of is a CAT scan of somebody's brain. That's what this part reminds me of. Um, we all see different things in them, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the beautiful thing about art. Well, I can see one thing and you can see something totally different and we're both right. I love this. Thank you, Gwen Trahan. If you uh, you're you're getting yourself off to a um, an interesting and creative journey here. If this is since this was your idea, um, I really like it. Now let me let y'all see it up close. And uh, if anybody else out there ever has a suggestion. Um, about color combinations or something you'd like to see. Um, or you'd rather, you want to know how something's going to turn out and you'd rather me screw up than you. That's fine. I'm all in. Y'all just let me know. Uh, I love experimenting. I love trying new, trying new things. I fall on my face periodically. I don't care. I'll just get up and do it again. I love this. I'm fascinated by it, and I don't usually get that way about my work. I will love something ever so often, once a month or something. But I'm hardly ever liking something as much as I do this. I'm really taken with it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you liked it, too. Um, I love it when y'all are here. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and, and thank you again, Gwen, for that very special compliment that you gave me about, uh, enjoying my videos. I really do appreciate that from the heart, um, because these mean a lot to me. Y'all mean a lot to me. Um, being able to get up here and talk about what I love is priceless. And I don't care if there's just one person out there that tunes in, I'm still going to do it. Um, because it makes me happy. And if it makes one other person happy, then I feel like I've accomplished something, you know. Um, when days are hard like today was, I just need this, you know. And, um, and it's very helpful. And I appreciate y'all making me feel welcome. And 
Y'all have a great night. Take care of each other. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Gwen Trahan, I appreciate you once again. This one's dedicated to you. And you keep it up. You know, um, if you get discouraged, you need some encouragement or you need any kind of help of any kind. You know where to find me. My email address is on most of my videos. Um, it's stacywellsartistry at gmail.com. That's S-T-A-C-E-Y-W-E-L-L-S-A-R-T-I-S-T-R-Y -L -L -S -S -E at gmail.com. Look on a couple of my videos. You'll see it in the description section. Y'all email me. Um, I will trade phone numbers with you. We can talk on the phone. We can email back and forth. We can send smoke signals. I don't care. I love to talk about art and I love to help people. If you're having a problem or you have a question or you think I screwed something up, let me know. I'm here. Y'all have a great night. I'll see you next time.